Hey everyone, Zev here, and welcome to Infinite Inside Overview. Interesting situation because it's racing across multiple platforms available, and the gameplay both supports VR and MR modes, which every headset has like a corresponding usage. But it's interesting the development was scattered across so many possibilities that such concept even allows that to happen. So Infinite Insight is a chill puzzle game, where a suspicious and out of this world artifact suddenly appears in your environment and opens up a portal to the unknown territory, where you need to solve the mysterious secrets to maintain the balance of order and chaos. First of all, kudos on the trailer, even though it's a cinematic one, it explains you well what the game is really about and the whole transitions in between. Related to that, I wonder if you'll be staying in one mode permanently or just switching around. Immersion-wise, that would be something very extraordinary to experience. Meanwhile, having hand tracking technology only adds up to that. It is a graduation from App Lab, although seems very high quality made. We'd have to see what's gonna be the graphical department because cinematics always skew your perception. And also with the mechanics, because if you have hand tracking, then I don't think locomotion will be very heavily emphasized. From the screenshots, it looks fine to me. I think we'll be also entering the actual thing. Like there's gonna be puzzles outside of the building and inside, which is something fascinating and the whole scale perception and stuff like that is just very cool to look at doesn't look overly complicated which might be a good suit for me on the first glance it looks great we shall see with the gameplay let's just go into the inside ah that's kind of like the turning Depending on which side you put your hand. I mean, I've never seen it, so that's something different. It's so small. I mean, how do I choose it? We'll have to see, let's just play. Plenty shards keys. Okay. So we essentially have a split mixed reality. Something appears in the middle of the room. Gimme. <laughs> There's a door. I 
I mean, by itself, this seems pretty cool. Does this piece fit that? Ah, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Why it's so sticky? I feel like those are two separate parts. Or I had to conjoin them too. Why this is like moving so weirdly? Okay, so there are some transitions. That's so cool now to be like inside the piece. How do we move though? Okay, but I thought we would be like exploring the tower or maybe that was like a basic level. It very much reminds me of what was the game with constructing islands in the environment. Yeah, I was gonna say that the resolution doesn't seem to be crazy in the main menu-ish, but then on the stage it was fine. But I mean, overall there's not much to say. It's very like, ambient art style.
I suppose we need to erect the tower. <laughs> Oh, we're already in chapter 2, okay. It's said to have 5 stages, so like... The experience doesn't seem to be long then. Honestly, there's not that much going on. I mean, I don't know what I expected from a puzzle game. Wait, what? Okay, well, that's something. Right, it gets more tricky. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank God I'm reviewing it at home. Wait, where's the piece? Should be like inside. It's not like a drawer. That's weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm still missing one piece. I'm not sure where was it. Oh. It's not like a triangle, it's... Well, I don't know the name for it, but... A tear. This really screwed up with me. Okay, so that's gonna be the locomotion to pull stuff. I mean, it works, so... A bit too much. <laughs> I'm confused where I went. <laughs> Guess you can just turn in real life.
We didn't collect anything though. Oh, I suppose that was like an exit. What's the point of that? Is it just multiple mechanics to go out? It seems like. I saw a cube. And I need to unlock it? I don't know why it's doing that double jump. Like it really screws up with me. I'm definitely not going where I want. I think I have it, no? <laughs> the hell? I feel like I'm still missing one. Oh well. Alright, so we'll stop here due to the time. It's hard to really judge this because it's rather simplistic and there's not that much going on really. You have nice transitions between MR and VR. But also it's only looking at one pillar of stones, turning it and then taking away the pieces. Inside it you move around in search for pieces as well. So like there's one kind of repetitive gameplay going on. It is a cool perspective to be in the tower, but it's definitely not the same, like the constructions and rooms. It's a very chill experience. Mechanics-wise, I'm not really sure because little movements are like triggering everything around. So it's kind of haphazard in the hand tracking regard. Let me grab the controllers maybe. If it's gonna be like more precise. Well yeah for sure, but it's not like I'm doing kind of different. Either way, this is definitely for casual enjoyers of this genre. It's not something overly groundbreaking. It uses current technologies and features that are like prominent in the quest headsets. But it's not something like mind-blowing and wow. I've never seen it before. <laughs> For what it is, it's cute, but I'm not surprised. <laughs>